Uh, so here's our situation. Uh, we have a data grid view here, and when we check its code, there's nothing. So let's just change some properties. So allow user to order columns to true. So let's just run. So we can change the column size and reorder it. Let's just close. And once we reopen, it goes back to the original. So here's our goal. Uh, we want to have a feature which we can save the current states such as column, order, or index, and width. So that whenever the user reopens the application, uh, they will not have to reorder and resize the columns again. Uh, so to start, uh, we will we will create a class uh, which will represent the data grid view columns. So public class grid column. And let's add a new namespace. So basically, we will uh, save or we will create an XML file. And we will store the properties on that XML file. So we will use uh, serialization, XML serialization to save those uh, properties. Such as name, index, and width of the columns. Uh, then let's add a button. Let's just rename it and set the text. Now let's add a click event. Let's just add some comment. So, we will create a new instance of XML Serializer. So, basically, we will serialize a list of grid columns. Since we have more than one columns in the grid, And let's create a strict steam writer. And we will create a, a file named grid state dot xml so let's just add a try finally and we will create a loop we will just loop on the columns of the data grid view So we will just create an, a new instance of grid column and store the name, index, and width of the grid there. Then next, we will create a list of the grid column.
and we will store those in the list. So now let's serialize. Let's just add on catch, try catch. Let's just show the mess the error message if there is. And close the writer or the steam writer. And let's add a plugin if there is an error. And if there is no error, we will just show a message box. So uh, let's just test. So let's just change the ordering and resize some columns. So it's done. Now let's uh, go to the the executable or root directory of the executable there you go the grid state.xml is created that we declared in this line of code so let's just open it So you can see the grid column name index and width. Well, it was saved as XML for in XML format. So it works, but once we reopen the form again, uh, the columns arrangement uh, returns back to the original format. So next, let's add a form load event. So let's just add some comment. Again, we will create a new instance of a XML serializer. And now, a text reader or stream reader. Uh, so, let's just copy this.
So we will just copy this collection or list. And now we will uh, deserialize or we will do the opposite of the serialize method. So let's just add the for each loop. And we will apply the values So that's it. Uh, so let's just test. So it's working great. So let's just uh, reorder it again. And save. And reopen. So it's working. Uh, now, next, uh, let's just add a reset button. So, let's just set the text. And rename it. And add a click event. So let's just add some comment. And let's add a variable, a dictionary variable. So basically, we will store the original width of the column in this dictionary. And let's go back to the form load event. So basically, the technique will be we will store the original width on the dictionary and let's go back to the reset So let's just reset the display index and the width. So next step, uh, we need to delete the XML file. So we should check it first if it is existing. And let's just move it over to the top.
And now let's just test. So let's just reset, close, and reopen again. Oh, it's working great. Let's save, close, reopen, and reset. 